This is Danny Flexen yeah. here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion Lennox Clark. Lennox, how are you doing? Yeah, man, I'm all good, man. Feeling good. Back at it now. Glad to hear it. Now, you're out uh, November the 6th on a big show in Birmingham, um, but I believe that's not going to be the mandatory defence of your titles against Zach Chelly. Um, just tell us when that's going to take place and who, what sort of opposition you might be fighting on the 6th. Yeah, I mean, as it stands at the minute, there's no opponent being made. Um, due to the time given to me after my injury I sustained before the Willie Hutchinson fight, um, you know, it hasn't been enough time to put my titles on the line, so I need to get, obviously, I need to get my feet wet again and get back in there. Um, Zach Chelly's my mandatory, and uh, I believe I'm going to knock him out in uh, late January, early February next year. So uh, that's a fight you're definitely going to see, but just not next. And you went from an opponent in Lerone Richards who, um, very polite, very respectful, and you've gone to Zach Chelly, and I believe him yeah. and his dad haven't been particularly respectful of you in the build-up to that fight. Yeah, obviously, uh, Zach's his dad's little puppet, the pair of fools, them two are. Um, you know, listen, when I get my hands on him, him and his, dad's, him and his dad are going to know what time it is, you know. Um, you know, so uh, I got, like, I'll knock him out. And after, if his dad wants to still run his mouth, we'll go outside and I'll knock his dad out as well. Why has it become personal, this one, for you, do you think? You know, with, with some boxers, you know, um, a lot of them say it's business, you know, but for me, it's a personal thing. Like, I take every fight personal, and that's just the way I look at it, you know, to get up for it. You know, it's not business. He's in there. Um, he's trying to take my head off. He's trying to cause pain. You know, he's, tr he's trying to knock me out. So every fight's personal to me. Um, doesn't matter who it is, I take it very seriously. What sort of stuff have they been saying that's particularly got to you or that you feel has gone beyond what's acceptable? No, nah, it's just not. To be fair, I haven't even watched the Muppets on camera, but people always send me the interviews after they've been saying what they've been saying. So, you know, like the, the, pair, of, the pair of them, um, They've both been saying a few things over interviews, saying they're going to knock me out. Well, he couldn't even knock out uh, a middleweight in Jack Cullen, no disrespect to Jack, but Jack's come up from middleweight, so he can clearly make that weight. He's not a fully played super middleweight, and he couldn't knock him out. Jack had been stopped at middleweight, so I don't know why he thinks he's some banger all of a sudden. You know, there's no way he's going to knock me out. There's only one person knocking people out in that fight, and that's me knocking him out. And after, I'll knock his dad out as well, because he's the cheeky fucker. <laughs> Excuse my language. No, no, it's all right. Um, do you want to stay at domestic level for a while? Do you want to secure the Lonsdale belt outright, for example, or are you keen to move on to European and world scenes? Yeah, listen. Obviously, I'm in a position that I've worked hard to get to in my career. Um, so you know, um, there's nothing. Like, I haven't been offered anything bigger yet, so I will remain defending. Uh, my titles and I remain British champion and uh, Commonwealth champion um, until something bigger is offered then I'll keep defending my titles um, I would like to move forward you know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the mandatory spot in the European title um, that lerone has got and you know I am looking forward but until that opportunity is given to me then I'll remain at domestic Is that the fight that you'd like the most a rematch with Lerone with the European title on the line ideally? <laughs> Yeah, of course it is, you know, like we've been banging on about the round since he beat me. Um, obviously, in that fight there, I wasn't 100% fit, I had, had injuries going into it, but, you know, um, it was my decision to go into the round beat me on the night, fair play to him. Yeah, um, that is the fight I'd love, and that's the fight I always want to, like, I, I want that, I want to revenge that loss, but, um, you know, who knows if I get made mandatory and the Ron hasn't got anything bigger on his plate, then hopefully he takes the rematch. But I, I, I fully understand if he doesn't want to fight me again because I wouldn't want to fight myself again. So, you know, he's got off lightly and he's obviously uh, he, he's looking to better his career. So, you know, fair play to him. And you want to ultimately get to world level, given where you've come from and the kind of hard road you've taken as a pro yeah. so far, what, what would it mean to you to make it that far? Yeah, it mean everything, you know, it'd be a proper story to uh, tell people at the end of it, you know. You know, um, I'm not looking past anyone in front of me, Zach Chelly's my next opponent in, in line after the uh, new year. Um, European, then Worlds, obviously, uh, 
I believe I could knock out anyone in the super middleweight division. That's good to, to have that belief in your power, and I'm sure it's well earned. Um, yeah. Your gym's doing incredibly well at the moment. Tyler Denny's English champion, Zach Parker, WBO number one, and Liam Davis obviously on the come up as well. What's the secret behind the success of the gym? Yeah, I mean, listen, you're in a gym full of uh, you're in a gym full of hungry lions. Like we're all thriving and bouncing off each other every day. There's a it's healthy competition in there. You know, it's well deserved for every fight. And it's in there we're all working very hard daily and bouncing off each other and you know we're just thriving at the minute and especially with the platforms we've got to showcase it you know our gym's going to carry on making noise who's the uh who's the funniest in the gym who's the lively one you know what listen the banter in our gym it don't stop um you know we all have the crack we have the crack from the minute we're in there to the minute we go we've got a really good uh a really good gym Life, you know, it's really it's, it's funny, mate. We have the banter all day long in there. Obviously, we've got a little. Uh, it's probably Kane's got the biggest personality in there. <laughs> little Kane Baker. And he's um just been named as one of the fighters in the boxer tournament, hasn't he? Has he? I think it's so. news to me. Yeah, man, that's good for him. You know, uh, Kane gives anyone a hard night. He, he works like he works like a soldier uh, in training. So yeah in that tournament people need to know what they're up against and um, just before I let you go I should ask there's an eliminator for your titles on Saturday on Sky between Jermaine Brown and Jamal Ledoux what, what do you make of that fight you know what I haven't really watched any of them I've seen uh, I've seen Ledoux sparring at him a few times um, yeah so you know what I haven't really watched them to comment but, um, but I wish the best man uh, wins on the night and if nothing bigger is offered to me then I won't be giving my titles up so you know after Zach Chelly it could be Jermaine Brown or you know it could, it could be uh, what's his name to do I'm not bothered so yeah whatever man any one of them can get it the fans wouldn't have seen you in action since that um, you know eye catching win over Willie Hutchinson what can they expect if they tune in on November 6th what, what are they going to see from you Listen, and the fans know what to expect when they see me in the ring, you know. Um, I leave it all in there and uh, it's going to be an explosive performance from me. Great stuff. Really, really appreciate your time. Um, looking forward to seeing you back in the ring and um, we'll yeah. have to catch up again soon. Yeah, man, Danny, thank you for having me on again, mate. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Take care. Thank you. Cheers.